Hello everyone, I am Hilde, writer of the story Ilva and the Wild Goats. Welcome to my home place. Once upon a time, I was out hiking with my family to an abandoned farmstead on the coast, as far west as you can go in Norway. While walking on that narrow path, we discovered something astonishing. A wild goat was giving birth to a pair of kids. And this was in the middle of the eagle's domain. There was only one thing we could do. We had to save them. And I carried those two damp little goats inside my jacket all the way home to the farm. The same farm that I now live on and run. And this was the starting point for Ilva and the wild goats. I have told that story about that rescue mission so many times to many children, also my own. And at some point it was begging to become a book. In this story, Ilva and her dad are on their way to their seaside cabin. But they are not alone on those steep fjord sides. Blackbeard, a big billy goat, lives there too. And so do the eagle. I wanted to tell a story about a girl who knows how to behave in the great outdoors. A girl who is happy and self-confident, brave and caring and in tune with her feelings. The book carries values and experiences from my own childhood, like being free to explore nature, both seriously and for fun, and having the freedom to do so. Also, the experience of the magic that sometimes sparks up between children and animals, the way they understand each other without the slightest swift of the supernatural. Still, Ilva's adventure has some similarities with the fairy tales. We are told about a tiny hero who must pass great challenges to achieve good. A hero that must use, must use her wit and courage to succeed. And this is what Ilva does. She may not have any superpowers, but she acts from the heart and does what her instincts tell her is right. I think this book is very relevant to the times we're living in. We need to come closer to nature. It also might be a bit uh, exotic. This is a type of childhood and a type of scenery that is not to be found just anywhere. And thanks to the wonderful work of illustrator Akin Dusakin, Ilva and the Wild Goats has become really eye-catching. But as a poet, I eager to paint pictures with my words as well. And this is how the book has got some kind of double visuality, with both its striking illustrations, but also the images that the text itself invokes in the reader. And even in such a dramatic story, the poetry still comes across. A dangerous billy goat suddenly stands in front of Ilva and Dad on the narrow trail. Dad tries to solve the situation with force, but Ilva finds a much more and good-natured solution. Later on, Ilva discovers an eagle on the prowl. What could it be hunting? That's when she sees them, far down the cliffside, a mommy goat with her two newborn kids. The eagle is swooping down towards them, and the mommy goat is fighting back. Can Ilva manage to help them on her own? Ilva edges over the cliffside and starts climbing down the fjordside. It's a daring venture that demands a lot of courage. But this is part of the book's main message. Now and then we have to be brave in order to help others. And even if you're little, you can still do a lot. Ilva is brought up close with the elements during her brave rescue mission. Here you can see Blackbeard defending both Ilva and his flock. He certainly hasn't forgotten that hot dog bun. 
Here is the whole drove of goats up on the mountain as Ilva and Dad leaves. Even the two smallest ones. The sun sets and brings out a golden light. And then they lived happily ever after. Over the hill and down the dale. We have reached the end of the tale. <laughs>